going on guys welcome back to the channel today's video i'm going to do a quick update on all the cars for you guys let you guys know what's going on let you guys know what's left on all the cars everything like that so let's hop right into it we're going to go over i guess we'll do them right in order i have the subaru out here first then i have the jeep and then i have the mustang the mustang is obviously going to be the most stuff left out of all of my cars so let's hop right into it and we'll go over it really quickly and i'll just give you guys an update tell you why you haven't seen the jeep on the channel much or anything like that and we'll go from there all right guys so if you're new to the channel this is my 2009 subaru impreza um this car is my daily driver i bought this car completely bone stock um has a new engine in it everything like that i didn't do the motor in it but it does have a new engine in it this car is you know i'm not doing anything crazy to this it's mostly cosmetic it has like a can and drop-in filter full exhaust unequal header wheels tires coilovers like suspension wise it has upgrades but performance it's an na subaru they're honestly very very slow it's not worth doing anything too so as you can see it's mostly just cosmetics i actually just washed this car so it is nice and clean it was disgusting before um but yeah so this car right here the only things left on this car there's not much is going to be a wrx hood wrx front bumper probably aftermarket grill aftermarket headlights just because these are all hazed up and everything so i definitely want to transform the front end a little bit like that and then um, if we come to the back, I'm going to want to do taillights, pretty much delete all this chrome around the car. I'm not really a fan of it. Probably leave my chrome tip and that's about it. But definitely want to get rid of the chrome taillights. And I want to do the WRX factory bumper with the diffuser in like built into the bumper. If you guys know the narrow body Subarus, you'll know exactly what bumper I'm talking about. But that's mainly all that's really left on this car. I do have to do a couple maintenance things. Uh, both rear bearings, I'm going to change. This one over here is just starting to make noise. I haven't changed it yet because it's really not that bad. It's kind of just howling a little bit. So I will have to do those bearings. And if you guys know Subarus, these rear bearings are a pain in the ass to change. They they season the hub and the knuckle and they, they don't want to come out. I've done them plenty of times at work. So I do know a couple secrets to them, but they are a pain in the ass. And then um, other than that, the um, it's going to be due for maintenance. So spark plugs, trans service, diff service, front diff service, rear diff service, you know, all that good stuff. But that's all just regular maintenance. I won't be filming that on the channel. I might film the bearings, though, just to give you guys an idea. Um, if you come inside, we have a lot of parts from like SDIs and stuff. Like we have the red stitch door panels, the red stitch steering wheel. We have Outback sport seats. So um, mainly just for looks and everything we got mr ducky over here giving everybody the finger but yeah so this is a pretty basic car um kind of just did it up nice and simple i i really don't like leaving stuff stock so that's why we uh we did what we did with this but yeah so that'll conclude the subaru now for the car that i know everybody wants to see guys the jeep is still here it's right here it hasn't went anywhere um i drive it once in a while it's I, I don't drive it much i really don't um the reason for that is because way more practical way better on gas and terrible on gas and i have the mustang in the garage so it's like three cars it's hard to juggle between all of them it's also hard to work on all three of them so just keep that in mind just bear with me i know a lot of you guys are wj guys um i do still have the jeep the jeep the, the the whole problem with the jeep is i really wish i started my channel when i first got this thing if that was the case you guys would have seen the whole build but the problem i have now is the the jeep is pretty much at a point where i want it to be like i don't really have much to do to it um a couple things that i gotta do i gotta fix a couple of rust spots like the rockers are uh, rotted a little bit so they make rock sliders that are weldons where you cut the rocker panel out completely and you put your rock slider up and then you weld it in and that'll take care of the rot that is on the rockers and then there's a little bit of rot behind the back bumper here um you can't even really see it but there's rot on the sheet metal back there you gotta take the bumper off and you can see it so we'll, we'll fix that rot we'll fix the rockers and i mean honestly guys other than that this thing runs amazing gives me no issues so i don't really want to make it unusable i guess you could say so 
So I thought about turboing it and I was like, eh, it's not really gonna be practical then. I do like the fact that I can get in this thing whenever I want and drive it wherever I want with no issues. So um, but if you guys don't know what this is, this is a 2001 Jeep Grand Cherokee. It has a stroked engine in it, uh, Jasper transmission, the T case I just rebuilt not that long ago. The has custom drive shafts, full suspension. Obviously, it's sitting on a five and a quarter inch lift, 3312 five, uh, BFG KM3s, 18 by 12, negative 44 offset wheels. They are uh, fuels. Um, other than that, the whole interior is pretty much custom too. Uh, we have Overland seats, Overland center console, the whole entire headliner I redid. Uh, some of these videos you guys can see on my channel. They're just older videos. If you guys want to check them out, you're more than welcome to. I know I got a lot of new subscribers that probably haven't seen any of my stuff. But yeah, so this is, you know, obviously like a more serious build than the Subaru is. The Subaru, like I said, it's very, very practical daily driver. As you can see, that's how long it's been sitting, guys. So I'm going to jumpstart this thing, let the battery charge a little bit, and we'll move on to the Mustang. All right, so... My favorite car out of all of them i know it's not your guys's favorite car because i can tell by the views guys all i ask for you guys is please just support the channel whether it be the mustang we're working on whether it be the subaru whether it be the jeep it doesn't matter it goes a long way guys i need the views i need the hours I'm so close to a thousand subscribers but i'm gonna need hours too so please support the channel guys you will see content on the jeep i promise guys i promise it's just not gonna happen right now because this is honestly my main focus at the moment um this car if you guys are completely new to the channel this is a 1998 mustang cobra it was my car in high school i sold it kid i sold it to crashed it i repaired everything that he crashed as you can see um, eventually we probably will either flat black all of this or I have a buddy He actually has a YouTube channel. I'll put his tag in the description down below uh, He might help me wrap this car. We'll see figure it out as the, as the time comes But yeah, so this car is a full bolt-on 98 Mustang Cobra. I did all the mods to this car I bought it. It was pretty much stock. It just had welded flow masters nothing crazy now it's every bolt on under the sun. It has a ton of weight reduction, tubular front end from the struts towers forward, tubular K member, A arms, coilovers. This car is very, very light for a Mustang. Very, 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 very light. So power to weight is very, very good on it. Um, right now I'm actually in the quest for high 11s with this car. The best pass that I ran with this, with the old setup, was a 12558 at 108 but that was also hitting oil at the end of the track and having to let off the throttle and roll through the traps so that pass should have probably been somewhere around the low 12 so let's keep that in mind but i do have a ton of parts for this car that i've been stacking up in the house uh pretty much the rear in this car is no good it makes a bunch of noise and everything like that so i do need to redo the rear but we are going very, very steep gear in this car. If you guys know these four valve B-head cars, they love a steep gear. So I'm hoping that that will be enough to get our high 11 second pass. And then after that, I guess we're on the quest for tens. So if I have to spray it, I'm gonna spray it, whatever the case may be, but we're gonna get a stock B-head four valve into the tens. That's what we're gonna do. Like a untouched short block. It's gonna be in the tens. Mark my words, you guys will see. So, yeah, this is my Cobra, obviously. Uh, stuff wrong with it. I mean, honestly, there is a lot wrong with it. Uh, it has rust in the trunk that I got to fix. Not a big deal. It's mostly sheet metal, but I do need to fix it. Obviously, the car needs bodywork. Obviously, the car needs paint. That's honestly low on the priority. I really don't care about driving it multicolored or looking how it does because it's more funny when somebody pulls up next to you with a really nice car and you smoke them and your car looks like this. It's really, really funny. I love it. So yeah, pretty much needs paint, bodywork, rust in the trunk, rear needs to get rebuilt. Uh, the interior needs a couple things. The key's actually in the Jeep because the Jeep's running, so I'm not gonna open the door, but as you can see, my pillar, my pillar pods are hanging off, the A pillar's hanging off. Needs a new A-pillar, the clips are all broken on it. I'm gonna move those gauges probably to the cubby in the center by the radio. Um, I wanna eventually get seats, harnesses, roll cage, rear seat delete, you know, all that normal stuff. But other than those couple things, like those three or four things, 
there's not much actually wrong with this car i do need to do valve stem seals and everything like that but again it's it's not major stuff that's wrong with it especially a car that took a hard hit like this one did so thank god i was able to fix it because I, I honestly I, I missed this car a lot when i sold it like I, I really really missed it so i'm happy that it's it's back home where it belongs and yeah yeah so it's just a quick update for you guys um nothing crazy this week but give you an update on the mustang the jeep and the subaru let you guys know there will be comment content coming eventually on the jeep i know all of you love the jeep guys i wish all of you loved the mustang i really do <laughs> But you, get, but you don't. So I, I get some content out there on the Jeep. Don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, so it's just a quick update. I appreciate all of you tuning in. I appreciate all of you subscribing to the channel. Uh, just about at 900 subscribers. So we're doing very, very good. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I will catch you in next week's video, Friday, 12 p.m. Peace out. Merry Christmas. Suspects are in custody this afternoon, now facing charges after a police-involved shooting in Newark overnight. After the overnight shootout between officers and at least two gunmen, people nearby describing the scene around midnight as a tense standoff. Investigators say Newark officers had been patrolling the area when they confronted the suspects, one of them pointing a gun at the officers.